How do we search for extraterrestrial intelligence? One of the methods is to listen out to see if they're sending any radio signals. But where should we turn our electronic listening devices? Our nearest star is Proxima Centauri. I say our nearest. It's 39,900, thousand, thousand, thousand kilometers away. Uh, or to put it more simply, 4.22 light years. So cool because it would take light. Traveling at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, 4.22 years to reach us from there. Which means that if aliens were orbiting Proxima Centauri and listening for our radio signals, they would hear what we were broadcasting 4.22 years ago, back in 2009. So let's hope they like Lady Gaga and the Black Eyed Peas. Or a bit further away, Vega. That's 26 light years away. So if they were listening, they'd be able to hear what we were broadcasting 26 years ago in 1987. So they'd be getting a bit of Rick Astley, a bit of Pet Shop Boys, uh, maybe a bit of early Madonna. And of course, they'd also be able to pick up television signals so they could see the very first little fragments of The Simpsons being broadcast as part of the Tracy Ullman show. Or they'd see Sylvester McCoy becoming the seventh Doctor Who. Further away still, Polaris, the pole star, is 323 light years away. So if they had electronic listening devices, they wouldn't hear anything because we weren't broadcasting anything back in 1790. However, if they had a really, really powerful telescope and could see us, the light reaching them would also have left in 1790, so they could see President George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, giving the first State of the Union address. They could see the world premiere of Mozart's opera, Così fan tutte, in Vienna. Or they could see the British um, inventing shoelaces. The further away a star is, the harder it becomes to estimate the distance, and therefore the time it would take light to travel back. So estimates for Deneb, which is a bright star in the constellation Cygnus, vary from less than 1,500 light years away to more than 3,000 light years away. So we're not sure whether if they had really, really powerful telescopes trained on Earth, whether they would be watching the end of the Nazca civilization in Chile, or whether they'd be watching the Phoenicians inventing the alphabet in the Near East. When you think about how far away most of the universe is, it's not that surprising that no aliens have visited us yet. Imagine that we had a really powerful telescope and we could train it on some planet orbiting Deneb and we could see the Denebians, the Denebites, whatever, the people, the people of the system Deneb. We could see them smelting iron, which is what we were doing about 3,000 years ago. And we might think, OK, well, they're primitive, but that was 3,000 years ago. By now, they've probably come the same distance as us. They're probably as advanced as us. We've got space travel. Maybe they've got space travel. Why aren't they here? Even if they did have space travel that was much more advanced than ours, and even if they could travel at the speed of light, if they set out now, it would take them another 3,000 years to get here. By which time, well, we'd, our civilization would have moved on. We'd, we'd have forgotten why we'd made that 21st century banner saying, welcome visitors from Deneb. Or if those visitors were coming from the large Magellanic cloud, which is very visible from the southern hemispheres, that's 160,000 light years away. So they would have had to look through their immensely powerful telescopes and see the first Homo sapiens on the plains of Ethiopia and set out immediately at the speed of light to get here by now. The Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away. So if they were looking through a telescope, they would see our very, very early ancestors in Africa just starting to eat raw meat and a giant meteor crashing into the Southern Pacific Ocean. So how old is the oldest thing that we can see? The furthest away object ever observed by humans is so far away that it was a galaxy just beginning to form 13.2 billion years ago when the universe had hardly begun. Now, if aliens there were training back on us, a telescope even more powerful than our Hubble Space Telescope, they, they wouldn't see us. They wouldn't see the Earth. They wouldn't even see our sun. None of that would exist. They'd just see our galaxy may be just about starting to form. So when you think about all that, it's really not that surprising that none of them have packed their bags and come to visit us yet.